Hey guys, I want to show you uh, Solus Linux has a KDE Plasma Spin. It's in testing. Now I've tried Kubuntu, I've tried OpenSUSE, I've tried Fedora, I've tried Arch, I've tried Manjaro. Um, the Arch and Manjaro were um, were stable. They weren't buggy. Didn't install a lot of junk unless you install there was one selection you could make there they installed some junk but Solus their KDE plasma spin uh, let me show go through this I installed Emacs myself so there would have been nothing in development I installed Kmajong which is a must for Linux if you don't have this game you're not running Linux I mean this I lose an hour every time I get in that game it's my favorite game but uh you go in here, you got an image viewer, you've got something from LibreOffice, a PDF viewer. I installed Kmail myself. Now Kmail and Gmail, Gmail has a thing where you gotta go in and get an application password. And if you do that, Kmail will work with it. Otherwise it tells you it can't work with it. But I installed that myself. Uh, Firefox came with Multimedia, I installed Audacity myself, and of course, Simple Screen Recorder, which I'm doing, uh, using to do this video. Uh, I apologize for my audio, though. It's because I got a little cheap mic with a little 2.5 or 3.5 plug on it that I just plug in. Uh, I'm a cheap skate. I hardly ever use a mic, so I just got a cheap one. Uh, Office, it came with LibreOffice, and of course, Ocular PDF Viewer. Settings, now, I'm in... I'm using the NVIDIA proprietary driver. All I had to do is go up and click on hardware drivers and then just click on the proprietary NVIDIA driver. It saw that I had an NVIDIA card. It installed it for me. No problems working right off the bat. Uh, very simple. It's, of course, system, you know, you've got very few things in there, utilities. I'll go show you Dolphin. Dolphin looks really nice, gives you previews. I uh, installed some of this stuff to places. All I had to do was just click on it. So you add to places. So go into network. I gave a little bookmark for my MyCloud. Um, you know, it looks really nice. Now, Software Center is where you get your software, where you update your software. Now, I'll show you it. I'll show you what I don't like about it, too. Say we go into something, and we're looking for a game, and, you know, you got little screenshots, you got little descriptions, really nice. You can install it from right here. Now, say, well, I want to search. I want to search for Firefox. Okay, there's Firefox. Is it installed? We don't know. There's no way of telling from right here whether these programs I'm looking at are installed or not. I've got to click on them and go to Then if I click on search again, I just did, it does nothing. I've got to back out to the search. So now I click something else, I search. Say I want to go home, I click on home. That's not home. I've got to back out to go back to home. It it just left me at the last place I was before I clicked search. Those are some design problems I've got with the software center. But you see it looks really nice and everything. Again, I haven't run into any bugs with things. Um, I mean, it's just really nice. You see I'm using about 20 gigs here using about two gigs of RAM and that is while I'm doing the screen recording. I'm recording in 1080p and I'm still only using two gigs of RAM. So it's light, it's not installing a bunch of crud you don't want. Uh, over here you see I've got my OnePlus 6T in here. It shows notifications from my phone. It shows text messages I can reply to them. I got Bluetooth. I got my network. And on the network manager here, I set up my network in it. I got my VPN set up. 
we can go over here into notifications of course I'm recording the screen everything set up I changed my wallpaper I changed my icon here if you want to change your wallpaper you see it's, they've got a lot of wallpapers and of course you can click on get new wallpapers and go to the website and you see how fast and responsive everything is how nice it looks everything looks and no bugs it's just all working and we go into our settings here of course this is the KDE settings uh, but everything looks so nice and I mean, it's just everything you want you put on there and you don't have to have anything you don't want I've got a little M2 PCIe card in here and this thing boots up in like five seconds I mean, I'm going I've got Linux men on my laptop I'm going to replace it with this because it's just fast it's lean it's the things you want it's stable and this isn't testing I mean Solus must, must be really anal and that things have to be um, tested and tested until they're ready to release them because this is better and more stable than a lot of distros out there that have been out there for a couple of years and this is this is in testing and it's already I mean it's just amazing now as far as software updates I mean it's a rolling release uh, every couple of days or so you get some software updates it's nothing major um, but I mean this is a really joy a real joy to use um, I've got my work stuff in here I've been using it for a couple of days no problems uh, don't have a bunch of services running that I don't want I got in did a couple little timers and scripts with system D everything works fine um, the linking works fine now I had problems with that in clear Linux uh, it works fine in here I mean it's just a pleasure to use and uh, I've, I've never had Solus before never even thought about it. I was a Linux Mint guy but um, I'm, I'm a convert now they this this spin has done it for me um, I, I love K Linux Mint they got rid of KDE and uh, I this this has definitely made a convert on me